let me introduce myself. My name is Eva Blinska. I'm a physiotherapist and osteopath from Gdańsk, Poland. Today I'm going to briefly tell you about vertigo and dizziness. Currently, moving all the world and life to online environment has changed the attitude towards healthy issues and habits. 75% of global population has dramatically decreased the level of physical activity performed. Vertigo is a sensation of spinning dizziness as though the room or surrounding environment is spinning in circles around the person. It can happen when there is a problem with the inner ear, brain or sensory nerve pathway, common in people aged 65 years or over. Vertigo is a symptom but it can lead to or occur alongside other symptoms too, which may include balance problems, lightheadedness, a sense of motion sickness, nausea and vomiting ringing in the ear, a feeling of fullness in the ear, headaches, nystagmus and others. Various conditions can lead to vertigo, which usually involves either the imbalance in the inner ear or a problem with the central nervous system. One of the major causes is posture imbalance and tech neck or tech neck as you may call it, causing muscle stiffness, soreness and gradually neck imbalance. We should also bear in mind certain principles while working long hours in the computer environment. Imagine that you have to stand for a long time. What can you do to make it better not to cause muscle stiffness? Proper lying position and sleeping hinge gives undeniable advantages for tech neck problems. Human beings were born with the natural ability to move. From the first second of our life we can move a hand or a leg unconsciously. Movement is innate human feature. Physical activities make our body stronger, while lack of exercise can cause health problems. Ten years ago, as a result of great cooperation with superb learning specialists, Anna Grabowska and a group of seniors within the Mindfulness Project and Gdańsk University of Technology, a set of exercises in the sitting position was established to show alternative way of physical activity performed in front of a computer. Sitting in front of a computer for hours can lead to muscle stiffness, pelvic and lumbar pain, and in long term, spine degeneration. Thus, for those who spend hours at workplace sitting in front of a computer, this can be the clue. Physical activity and exercises done by seniors are still up to date. Time is passing by, we are getting older, changing, but the need for movement is timeless. There are many different types of medicine, but we should bear in mind that none of these can replace physical activity. The choice is in your hands.